An unintentional disaster that people frequently make is to have a tooth that's had a root canal done on it and not to have the crown actually done. This is a posterior tooth. The compressive force has broken the tooth structure around the filling and the patient has developed a lot of decay. If you go back and look at it again, that food gets still slodged between the, the tooth and the tooth next to it and it leads to more root decay in a hopeless situation where the tooth can't be saved. We removed the composite and as you can see there's decay that has leaked up underneath that composite and this tooth is basically hopeless. There's nothing that can be done except for to extract it and if you left it there the way it is there would be more decay that would leak out into the adjacent teeth and also, the bacteria would be in the mouth and causing decay somewhere else. So a person just can't live with it that way until it breaks because it will cause more problems. Ideally, once the root canal was done, a post or a core buildup should have been done in the center of the tooth and then a crown placed to allow the tooth to receive the compressive force. So any tooth that's had work done in the back of the mouth where they're chewing needs to have a crown. Anterior teeth, not so much because it's a shearing force.